We skip across from Townsville to Magnetic Islands Picnic Bay for a relaxing afternoon ahead of an early morning start, making our way further south, nearly 70 nautical miles to Cape Upstart. Sailing conditions are great, and even better, the fish were biting. Watch to the end to see Karen's easy tips for fresh tuna on the boat in another Our Galley segment. Most of the history of uh, Magnetic Island and Townsville, Picnic Bay was where all the ferries came across. And it was named for one reason, people came from Townsville across to have a picnic. The foreshore here is beautiful, but these days we get Nelly Bay Marina and all of the dock facilities around there. So all of the high speed ferries now go into Nelly Bay. Picnic Bay has become just a little quiet, secluded spot. Now in these northeasterly conditions, Perfect place for us to anchor for the night before we head south. It's a glorious spot just to enjoy an afternoon. Good morning everybody. Wow, we have had the most beautiful night's sleep here at Maggie Island in Picnic Bay. It has been glorious. After a few days over in Townsville catching up with friends, we disappeared over to the island just so that we could get an early start this morning. We are heading for Upstart. We don't get to Upstart, we have our plan B which is Rolling Green. Yep that old bowling green which they forgot to actually name correctly yep it's rolling green but that's our plan b if we are sailing too slow the moment rob's up the bow getting the anchor up and a beautiful sunrise out there beautiful maggie island sad to leave you maggie see you next time We're only two minutes out of the actual anchorage at Picnic Bay and you can see the swell that we've already got out here. It was a beautiful, nice anchor. because we were concerned about old rig wasn't catching our normal amount of food from the sea and Rob has just had a great strike we've had fish chomping up the water all the way around us and birds working 
and we haven't had a strike. So this line is a brand new reel, brand new line, brand new board. Brand new lure. <laughs> brand new lure. There it is. Good size. I'll take the rod. Nice rod. Got it. Bring it back. Have it, have it, have it. Holding tension. Yeah. Nice size. Yes. In goes a bit of rum. Put him to sleep nicely. Put a towel over. Get our lure back. Yeah. I had just mentioned to Rob that he needed to get a fish now because I was just about ready to clean up the slaughterhouse down here. And the ratchet went off. Yay! <laughs> but <laughs> with doing all of that, he's a long way out. He took a hell of a lot of line and yeah, he is a good fish. Ooh, before any Noah's Ark find it. Get the other rod in. Yep, I can get the other rod in. Sorry, we're coming back to you later. Well, we'll have to give this one a measure and see what he is. I can't believe the corner slew has gone off. It was a good test though, what we've had six strikes on the on the dive board and the um ooh. Sorry, on the dive board and the spoon. And this is our first, yeah. Laser throw, corner color scheme job. Come to the surface yet. Only that once. And it's a tuna. Sashimi, yes. Yep, okay. See you guys later. Nice one, Rob. There's not much rum in there. Mate, you didn't really gaff him all that well. Yeah. 
me spit mud blood at you. Have you ever had a washing machine that's out of balance on the spin cycle? <laughs> Let me go and do my deal with him. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Be free with me Let's go Well, we've caught this gorgeous tuna today, so I've decided just to do a, a simple marinade, really, um, which will coat the outside of the fish. I've used some of our great friend Game of Fire, Spiro's um, chili jam in there, so that's a bit of sweetness, a bit of hot, um, some soy sauce, some sesame oil. I'm gonna put the sesame seeds in at the last moment so that they don't discolor, but some nigella seeds, some lemon, half a scallion, and also some gin, uh, sorry, some garlic. Um, put all that in. Now I'm going to put the fish into there. I'm not going to put it in for very long because I don't want that lemon juice to actually start cooking the fish. But I'm just going to coat it all, and then we're going to pop it onto the barbecue, and we're going to sear each side of the tuna, and we'll have. No, raw tuna inside, that's how we, uh, we're looking for it, but seared on the outside. So that's how it's going to be and served with some Asian vegetables. Done. If you're enjoying our videos, please make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. It really does help us with YouTube to reach more people. If you also hit the bell button, you'll be notified each time we release a new episode. Come sail with us again soon.